Hey guys, so I'm back and I have baby Noah here. Um, just kind of like just talking about various topics and just kind of um, just talking freely. Um, so one of the other things too that um, I've been experiencing lately is transitioning from collected to artists. Um, as much as I've tried to fight using that word, um, or, you know, as far as myself or wanting to be seen as an artist, I think, um, I'm getting to that point, but a part of me wants to kind of transition over and be more on the artist side, even though I'm more a collector at heart. Um, just because of, you know, I don't know, it just, I, I feel like it kind of takes me out of a lot of the, the competing and other drama that goes on with the collecting, but, <laughs> um, you know, it's still, you still get that with, um, painting as well. You know, you're always going to have someone that, um, that feels like, you know, they need to take down somebody else to make themselves feel better type thing. Um, really loving the new way that I'm selling these bottles. Um, it's so, so nice. Um, but, you know, I've, you know, I've, there's a lot of different groups like on Facebook and stuff like that. And, the collector in me loves seeing different different babies and different dolls and stuff like that. So um I don't know why, but it's like I don't know, maybe because I don't ever really give him anything. His 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 mouth is a little bit a little bit more um close than it looks but um but yeah so I be I want to see like the different dolls and stuff like that and you know because you know I don't know lately seem like YouTube don't really you know show a lot of variety it's kind of like the same dolls just keep circulating and stuff so you um start so I've been you know really looking to the Facebook groups to see new new babies and what's out um but I feel like on Facebook, it's a lot of isolation. Um, you know, you got to have this kind of doll to get in this kind of group. You got to, you know, qualify for this, for that type of group. You know, all these different, you know, criterias and scenarios. And a few of them I've actually, you know, accepted the invites and I've joined and I've really been enjoying seeing the other dolls and stuff. And i um, not going to mention any, but, you know, a few I've, actually tried to participate in and post a few times but it's like if you're not down with a certain particular crowd or click then you know you really don't people don't really interact with you in the groups so it's kind of like mm, they're more for just watching um i you know sometimes you wonder like why what 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 is that about like um you know i have a group on facebook as well and don't get me wrong um, I've, it's gotten a lot better over the time, over time, as far as when it comes to me, but even though it's my group, I, sometimes I get the less love when I post in there, but, um, I'm just being honest and, but it's gotten a lot better. Um, I don't know if the members changed or they just feel differently. <laughs> I don't know, but. Yeah, so I just feel like a lot of times, you know, when you start segregating the community, it it does it, it is a lot of um isolation. And like I said, you know, for for me, I post more so in like more wide range groups. I only have like two main groups that I I like to post in like faithfully, but there's a third one that I've been kind of enjoying. Um too so I post in like reborn doll addicts 
um, silicone baby, the authentic only. Um, um, I've looked in those groups. Um, and then now I've also been doing little gems um, as well. Um, but there's other groups. You know, I don't really get on Facebook. Stay on Facebook. I be on Facebook a lot. Like I post a lot, but I don't like stay on there that much. I kind of post and get off and I'll, you know, scroll through a little bit and then whatever pops up in my feed, I, you know, I look at it. I, you know, like babies that I see and, you know, comment on different posts and then I'm kind of off. Um, but, um, I, in my opinion, I feel like it's kind of the worst thing an artist can do is have a group specifically for their dolls only. Um, some people call them like fan pages or whatever, but for me, I just, you know, this is just my opinion. I feel like it's the worst thing people can do because you're limiting your exposure. Um, so basically your, your base and your clientele is only going to be those people that are already into your dolls. It's not going to allow people who may be interested in your dolls to actually see your dolls, um, because you're actually just locked into that group and you know versus when you're in a group that's more open like reborn doll addicts is not specific to no type of um status quo or whatever so when people post in there you know somebody might be like oh what what kid is that you know oh whoa, wow i like that what artist is that oh okay man okay i'm gonna go check them out but when you got this so-and-so type group or so-and-so fan page only the people that already know about your dolls are going to be the ones that see it. So I think it's really like a dead end. Other than, you know, of course, you know, people can sell to each other and stuff and trade back and forth. So I guess it serves a purpose there for the collector. But for the artist, I don't see the benefit of it. Um, and, um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, and everybody have one. Um. I wanted to do a fan page at one point, <laughs> not not a fan page, but a, you know, page of certain dolls, but then it's kind of like, okay, if it's only so many in addition, in addition, how, you know, how are you going to do that? So, um, you know, you, you get excited. Like I got it so excited when I got, um, the tape, Black Claire Telling, and, um, you know, I like the sage and the tapes. Like I felt like we, we moved into it you know, a new era with the kids. The kids became, you know, soft, all in one pour. They got the drinking wet, you know, like all these new features. I feel like we're, you know, times is really um, progressing. Um, even when I was so excited when Lily and Breville dolls began to be poured into the soft silicone and all in one piece, like I was like, oh man, this is great. Now, now they can also have drinking wet. So, you know, that's wonderful, but had, you know, a lot of this stuff just be put in one spot, you know, you wouldn't be able to see that stuff and have the, ex the exposure. But that's, you know, like I said, that's no here or there. Um, but yeah, I've, I've just, I don't know. It's kind of like, I'm just noticing so much, um so much is changing and I'm not some of it I, I really miss the old way of things and some stuff I'm glad that it has changed but yeah I've really really um <laughs> so but yeah so I really I really um Sorry. Let me tell y'all this funny thing off subject. Uh, when I went to pick him up out of the bed, he was laying there and he is like kind of wrapped in this little uh, receiving blanket, like laying across the receiving blanket. Because I don't like to lay them directly on, you know, the bed and stuff like that. Because real babies, you wouldn't do that. So um, he was laying there. And when I went to go get him, it looked like his eye blinked, like jumped a little bit. And I jumped back. <laughs> That was so funny. I think sometimes our minds play tricks on us, especially like if a shadow hit them a certain way and if they look like really, really real, 
it can really mess with your little your little head for a minute and it's kind of like then you kind of get what non doll collectors um be saying like oh my god that's so creepy <laughs> um you know so that's why like i don't even get that offended when people say that like if they're not a doll collector because i think if i wasn't into these dolls and i saw these dolls i would be thinking the same thing um and i even had um a close friend of the family so close that we actually just call them family actually say something to me that really made that this is so creepy or this is a bit much now they didn't think it was creepy they thought it was amazing and fascinating but they also said that it was very hard for them to watch because to watch something that was so well i'll be dang um <laughs> it's like a motorcycle passing by my window um it was like they were saying it was so to watch something so lifelike and it's not lifelike not alive um kind of trigger emotions for them um and i never thought about it in that pr perspective so i was like hmm that's interesting um so i you know i don't know i i think we get very defensive defensive about a lot of stuff because we love the hobby we get it we understand it and we kind of expect other people to kind of get it too but you're not gonna get it it's like me like um people fascination with designer purses and designer shoes it's like what you know if i like a person that happened to be designer that's different um for me but for the most part just to be like oh i gotta have so and so kind of bag. Oh, I oh oh I don't carry nothing but, <laughs> uh, baby. I can't have nothing but a Louis. I can't have nothing but a Coach. I can't have nothing but a, you know, Dolce and Cabana. I, I can't do nothing but red bottoms. You know, all that whatever. I don't even know the favorite fashion. So child will probably call out stuff that's so dated. Um, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm kind of like one of those people be side eyeing them like. Girl, you finna spend what for that purse? Oh, okay. But then, you know, it's the same thing. Like, girl, you finna spend what for a doll? Really? So, you know, I don't know. I guess, you know, we we all have our things. And then, you know, sometimes if things are not something that we're into, we seem to, to think it's something wrong with it or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't, but you guys do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But I I just miss, you know, a lot of stuff. But um, I'm glad that the artist and the art is evolving. But I feel like the com community is digress digressing. Is that a word? Is that right? I feel like the community is falling apart. That's what I feel like. I feel like it's really truly falling apart. I feel like it's becoming a big complaining, whining, um, depressive place um, sometime. Um, you have to be very careful. Your circle and what you involve yourself in and what you allow in. I've gotten to the point where I don't really want to get that negative energy. Um, you know, I, the tea sometimes is not good for you um <laughs> so i don't know it's it's just it used to be hauls and giveaways and um box openings that was generally box openings that people were excited about the doll itself not so much of the name brand or you know um we were more about how much we could save and how much we saved on clothes versus how much we paid and my baby better than your baby type thing so i don't know it's just so much change but my battery is dying so i have to go i'm sorry we'll talk later bye bye